Hello everyone and today another product update and I'm thrilled to inform you that we are launching alerts. Alerts around your on-page SEO errors, alerts about your Google search bot behavior at the website, alerts about your SERP efficiency and about your core web vitals. Let's dive deeper. So alerts are located on the very top of our menu and we are starting with the overview. So fired alerts. These are the alerts about something is broken, uh, based on all these data sets that are integrated and uh, all the alerts that you've enabled or created before. So here is the date, fired alerts, then well, when it is fixed, if it is already fixed, and the panel with the actions. Here you are able to pick up any period you are interested in. And so this is like the general overview. Let's dive into logs alerts. Uh, here we see that there are already some, some preset alerts here. You see that there are different intervals of checking different alerts. Sometimes it is just one at 12 hours. Uh, sometimes it is more often. Uh, in, in case of logs, uh, the logic of working uh, with the alerts is that uh, we have this leaf logs integration and the data is always fresh and uh, we've created default preset alerts having that in mind that some of them uh, can be changed every other minutes every 15 minutes let's say uh, and the other ones they are more stable like for example the load time uh, it is not so dynamic uh, so uh, in in the case with logs we are having the fresh data all the time uh, that's why uh, we are capable to check some alerts even every 15 minutes and you can create your own alerts and it can be really of various combinations there are a lot of opportunities there so let's create new alert uh, within the logs it is taken from the raw logs data set i'm interested in google bot search then i would like to measure the load time which is greater than let's say five seconds and alert configuration let's measure it um, once a day and i want to get if the rows count in this list uh, of pages which got like more than five seconds load time uh, so this list is more than zero so it has at least one uh, line there and i will get an alert then this alert will be sent to the email but uh, in a while we will get like different ways of uh, notifications like to slack to your messenger whatever and we put a title on it so bot load time more than five seconds and we save it and here we have this new alert it will be active within an hour and you will start getting uh, the information according to this alert the same logic for uh, google search console alerts so the alerts around your serp efficiency uh, we see that uh, there are some enabled uh, some of them are muted and this one is just created and it will be active uh, within an hour uh, so here we can let's say unmute for example this one and we can create new alerts uh, just the same way as we've been doing that with log alerts so you are having the preset alerts you are having the alerts you are creating on your own and you make this interval how often you can check that let's jump to crawl alerts here everything works a little bit differently uh, as you remember logs data and google search console, console data these are the automatically integrated data sets and uh, we are always having 
uh, the fresh data here. Uh, if we speak about the crawl alerts, uh, we all understand that uh, to send you alerts, we should scan your website and we should check if something has changed. That's why uh, there is a new entity, uh, create a crawl schedule. So you should create a crawl schedule uh, with the needed configurations and then uh, work with the alerts uh, from these uh, scheduled crawls. Let's look how to do that. Create a crawl schedule. For example, you have a big website and uh, you want, for example, to slice your website into, into different uh, clusters and to measure them and to watch their uh, different alerts. For example, there are like most important pages in terms of your conversion, for example, or uh, most losing pages and you want to uh, get um, alerts from there as well. And the combinations can be really different. For example, the uh, top pages where the ads managers spend uh, the majority of the budget of the ads budget there. So the variations are really different and they're really uh, multiple. Uh, so you put the exact URLs you want to crawl um, and then like whatever. Uh, then here you just, uh, this is the usual settings for the crawl, just put push the next. And here is the schedule for this crawl. And you are able to pick up how often do you want this crawl to be done and new alerts to be sent if something is broken according to your alerts. Right now I would like to get that everyday fresh crawl and new alerts in case something has broken. So we put the title for this schedule, let's say important pages and finish. And we get this new crawl, uh, what we have here, run every day, how often it should be, the last run, it will be just the first one, we can push right now, so run right now, then the URL of it, uh, then you can configure this crawl and maybe to add some URLs that you've missed uh, or you just reminded about some important URLs as well. And you can either uh, watch the history of this crawl and then delete it in case you don't need that. Then you have the alerts. So you see uh, the alerts which are active right now and you would like to pick up something new. For example, increase of 404, you just push the enable button and it will be active like when the crawl is done. Uh, for example, average load time increase and everything that you are interested in here. And again, you can create your own uh, alert and play with the filters. Or if you are a digital agency or a freelancer who are working with multiple clients, multiple websites, and they are not huge, you just create um, the default, the whole uh, crawl, for the whole domain, just push next everywhere, uh, pick up the needed periods, let's say every week, and you will be getting uh, the fresh alerts based on fresh crawl for the whole website. And it won't take you a lot of time, but you will control the situation because we always know when we are not in house, we don't control a lot. Uh, and right now you have this full control. You should bear it in your mind that all these crawls also spend your crawl pages quota. So when you are buying uh, the crawl subscription, uh, you should bear it in your mind and calculate those uh, regular crawls within the alerts as well. So to cover the needed volume, for example, the canonical page, yes. And I would like to get missed pages. So if my canonical pages missed at least one page, I will get the notification for it. I'm writing the title, canonical, canonical alert, I would, I would call it right there. And save it. 
and I'm getting this canonical alert it will be active with the fresh crawl and you can create a lot of combinations here I will make a new use case video with all possible variations uh, for alerts on logs Google search console crawl and core web vitals and core web vitals so this is very similar to crawl alerts here you will also need to create a core web vitals schedule uh, put the needed URLs you want to get your core web vitals insights and then you will have the same logic uh, for enabling the preset default alerts or for creating your own alerts within the core web vitals data set so uh, I really hope that you will test our alerts as soon as possible on all the data sets that you can integrate into Jet Octopus and you will feel East, really you will feel freedom and at the same time SEO safety.